Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Akiba Rubenstein and Shandor Takac. This game was played in Vienna in 1922. Play with the black pieces in this game, Shandor Takac became famous when he won the Hastings tournament in 1929. Rubenstein had white pieces and he started with d4. Takac played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, b6, the queen's Indian defense pawn structure, white to move, e4, grabbing the space, bishop to b7 attacking the pawn on e4, defending, bishop to b4, fighting for the e4 square, Rubinstein played queen to c2, black to move, c5, and bishop takes on c3, are the two most popular moves in our modern time. Even then, bishop takes on c3 was played very often. Back to our game. Shandor Takac played d6. This was a novelty to catch Rubinstein unprepared. And this is a history of the d6 move. Let's see how Rubinstein handled the novelty. Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps developing another piece comes to mind. Or maybe there is a better move. Rubinstein played the best move. Queen to a4, check. Knight to c6, blocking and also defending the bishop. White to move and to play the obvious. What is the obvious? Rubinstein played d5. Queen to d7. If bishop takes on c3, check. Pawn takes bishop. And white wins a piece. Back to our game. Queen to d7. D takes on c6. Bishop takes on c3. Check. Pawn takes bishop. Bishop takes pawn attack in the queen. Queen to c2. e5. Knight to e2. Queen to g4. Knight to g3. h5 intending h4. And after the knight moves, queen takes on g2 f3, queen to g6, and Rubenstein castled kingside, h4, knight to f5, king to d7, connecting rooks, intending to move the rook to g8, a4, rook from a to g8, Chandler would like to sneeze so hard to knock his own pawn off the board, but even then the pawn on g2 is defended by the queen. Of course that he didn't want to sneeze over the board. He knew that people would then dislike his Facebook. The game continued. a5. Queen to h5. a takes on b6. a takes on b6. Rook to a7. Invasion on the 7th rank. g6. Knight to e3. Knight to e8. Defending the pawn on c7 before launching the king's head attack. Knight to d5, king to d8, let's take it back. If something like g5, then rook takes on c7, check, and after knight takes on c7, knight to f6, check, is tiny bit unpleasant. Back to our game. King to d8, bishop to e3, rook to f8, preparing f5, then maybe f4, g5, and crushing Rubenstein to pieces. If Rubenstein falls asleep, why to move? How would you defend? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? White played a move, and black designed, and the move is knight takes on c7. Believe it or not, Shandor resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Knight takes on c7, Queen to b3, and now it's obvious that black army is committed to the king's side attack and the king can't be properly defended on the queen's side. One line goes like this. King to d7, intending rook to c8. Queen takes on b6, rook to c8, c5. d takes on c5, bishop takes on c5, h3, bishop to b5, Bishop takes on b5, everything else is also losing. 
queen to d6 check king to e8 white to move and to play the obvious and the obvious is queen to e7 check mate and the black king was checkmated on his home square Chandos novelty d6 at move six never became popular what else did we learn from this game one of the things that we have learned is sneezing in public will not make you many friends and in the end i would like to say this my dear patrons thank you for supporting my youtube channel and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now